the Second World War. We've seen the U.S. troops landing at Normandy, hitting the beach of Iwo Jima. Uh, this week, looking at the uh, documentaries on the uh, Gulf War, one of the finest moments of the U.S. military, the defeat of Iraq's Republican guards by U.S. armor is just not documented in photos or video. It turns out combat uh, camera crews of the networks and the U.S. military itself were not there. Uh, any thoughts or reflections on the tight restrictions that were placed on the media in the Gulf War? And is this setting or has set a new criteria for coverage of the U.S. military? Well, I think uh, there has been controversy around the issue of how the war was covered and the, the regulations that uh, we established, I basically established, I was the one responsible for uh, how the press would cover it. Uh, an awful lot of the, the problem emerged as a result of, of the fact that we fight wars differently now than we used to. There were a lot of my friends in the press who wanted to go cover the war in the Gulf the way they'd covered Vietnam 20 years before. Get on a helicopter, fly out into the jungle, spend a couple of days with the troops. Um, now we fight at night. Uh, we operate uh, at a very high rate of speed, especially when we're operating with large armored formations in the desert. Um, the, just the, the whole style of, of operation of modern warfare is dramatically different than it used to be. If you take a reporter and set him down in that environment, he's going to be left standing in the desert. Um, in terms of getting access to the battlefield, uh, about the only way he can get access to the battlefield is through very close cooperation with the military. and That necessarily then results in the need for some sort of ground rules of, a, of arrangement. We used the pool arrangement. We thought that was the right way to go. Some of the forces got good coverage. Uh, it tended, I think, more than anything else to turn on the attitude of the commanders of the individual units. The Marines, uh, uh, with Walt Boomer in charge, uh, who'd been the public affairs officer at one point for the U.S. Marine Corps, and being Marines, they were very good at it. They, uh, they got a lot of good coverage. Uh, Molly Moore of the Washington Post, for example, wrote a book about her experiences traveling with, with uh, General Boomer and his uh, headquarters in the campaign into Kuwait. Uh, there were other units, especially some of the Army divisions, that did not get that kind of coverage. And uh, what we did after the war was to sit down and try to write a new set of ground rules based on those experiences. There were extensive discussions between Pete Williams, who was uh, my press spokesman, and, and a carefully selected group of journalists, included uh, Kay Graham, for example, the Washington Post, and others, to try to come up with a set of ground rules that would fit these new set of circumstances. What happens, though, uh, each time the balloon goes up and there's a new crisis, is each one is different than the last one. So you can spend a lot of time trying to figure out how we should have covered the Gulf conflict, um, but the next conflict will have different elements to it, and uh, there's always going to be a certain amount of tension, I suppose, between the military and the civilian leadership of the military and the press. My job, I felt, was first of all to accomplish the objective, secondly to do it at the lowest possible cost in terms of lives and casualties. And then after the, I worried about those two things, I could worry about the, the adequacy, if you will, of press coverage. I do think, and I still argue, although my, my press friends don't always agree with this, that uh, we provided more information in, in near real time than ever before in history. That the American people watched um, on their television sets a live broadcast from the, the capital city of the enemy uh, the night the, the war actually began. That we provided briefings on a daily basis and vast quantities of information same kind of information basically that I was receiving as Secretary of Defense that was made available to the press and public. And uh, so I think the, the public was reasonably well served by the arrangement. I will agree that there were uh, times when we could have done a better job with respect to how the military dealt with the press during the course of the campaign.